University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. One of Oxford's newest colleges plays one of Cambridge's more ancient tonight, with a place in the second round for whichever of them can knock more metaphorical stuffing out of the other. <laughs> the winners get to come back and do it all over again in round two. St Peter's College, Oxford, was founded in 1929 by the Bishop of Liverpool, Francis Chavas, with the aim of providing a low-cost education for promising students of limited means. It became a full college of the university in 1961. Alumni include the film director Ken Loach, the food broadcaster and campaigner Hugh fernley Whittingstall, Bishop Libby Lane and the Reverend W. Audrey, the creator of Thomas the Tank Engine. Its student numbers now stand at around 470 and the team playing on their behalf have an average age of 25. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm James Hodgson. I'm from Oxbridge in West London and I'm a graduate student in statistics. Hello, I'm Seb Braddock from Toine in Geneva, Switzerland. I'm reading for the last year of my BA in history. This is their captain. Hello, I'm Nick Williford from Maynardville, Tennessee, and I am reading for a master's in British and European history. Hi, I'm Laura Cooper from Stockport, Greater Manchester, and I'm studying biological sciences. Pembroke College, Cambridge, was established shortly before the last ice age when Edward III granted Mary de St Paul Countess of Pembroke, a licence for its foundation. It claims to be Cambridge's oldest college to survive on its original site, and alumni include Pitt the Younger, the poets Thomas Gray and Ted Hughes, and the actors Tom Hiddleston and Naomi Harris, representing a student population of 700 and with an average age of 21. Let's meet the Pembroke team. Hi, I'm Dan James. I'm from Bedford, and I'm studying Earth Sciences. Hi, I'm Joe Kiernan. I'm from Philadelphia, and I'm reading for an MPhil in International Relations and Politics. And their captain? Hi, I'm Anki Deo. I'm from Hampton in southwest London, and I'm studying linguistics. Hi, I'm Jamie Bamber. I'm from Cambridge, and I'm studying physics. Excellent. Well, the rules you all know, so let's just get on with it. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. On the 4th of June 1917, Laura E. Richards, Jean-Jules Jusserand and Herbert Swope were among the first recipients of which awards, winning in the categories of biography, history and journalism, respectively? St Peter's Williford. The Pulitzer Prize. Correct. <laughs> Your first set of bonuses are on German literature, St Peter's. A 1945 novel by the Austrian author Hermann Broch recreates the final 18 hours of which Roman poet who died at Brundisium in 19 BCE? Ovid. No, he died in Eastern Europe. It's Virgil. Secondly, a play of 1835 by Georg Buchner concerns the death of which French revolutionary leader executed in 1794 a few months before Robespierre. Uh, pass. That was George Danton. And finally, the author Gustav von Aschenbach succumbs to cholera in which 1912 novella by Thomas Mann? Death in Venice? Death in Venice? Correct. Ten points for this. What three letters begin the names of all of the following? Firstly, the second largest island of the Philippines. Secondly, a national capital midway between Riga and Kiev. And thirdly, the US state known as the land of 10,000 lakes. Pembroke Kiernan. M-I-N, Min. Indeed. Min now, Minsk in Minnesota. Your bonuses are on the solar system, Pembroke College. What toroidal distribution of objects includes the dwarf planets Make Make, Haumea and Pluto, stretching from about 30 to 50 astronomical units from the Sun? It's named after a Dutch scientist born in 1905. Kuiper Belt. Kuiper Belt? Correct. What two-word name is given to the distribution of objects that includes Eris and Sedna? These tend to have more elongated and inclined orbits than those in the Kuiper Belt. The Oort Cloud? No, they're scattered disk. Also named after a Dutch astronomer, 
What distribution of objects stretches to tens of thousands of astronomical units? It's hypothesized to be the origin of most long period comets. Uh, Oort cloud? That is the Oort cloud, yes. Ten points for this. In 1878, which American born artist brought a libel suit against the critic John Ruskin? St. Peter's Williford. Whistler? Whistler is right, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on insults in Shakespeare. Which of Shakespeare's less frequently performed plays concerns the power of money and includes the line, Would thou were clean enough to spit on? Love's Labour's Lost. No, it's Timon of Athens. You starveling, you elf skin, you dried neat's tongue, you bull's pizzle, you stockfish, oh, for breath to utter what it is like thee. You tailor's yard, you sheath, you bowcase, you vile standing tuck. This litany of insults is delivered by Falstaff in which play? The Merry Wives of Windsor? No, it's Henry IV, part one. Described as a deformed and scurrilous Greek, Thersites appears in which play? He addresses Ajax with the words, Thou sodden-witted lord, thou hast no more brain than I have in mine elbows. Pericles? No, it's Troilus and Cressida. Ten points for this. In nuclear physics, the numbers 2, 8, 20, 28, 50 and 82 are among those known by what name? Nuclei with these numbers of protons or neutrons are particularly stable. Pembroke Bamba. Golden numbers? No, anyone want to buzz from St Peter's? You may not confer one of you can buzz. They're magic numbers. Ten points for this. Published in 2017, the memoir I Am, I Am, I Am is an account of which author's 17... St Peter's Cooper. Maggie Farrell. Maggie O'Farrell, yes, that's correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the life sciences now, St Peter's. In each case, identify the person who wrote the following. First, it was because chimps are so eye-catching, so like us, that my work was recognised worldwide. Uh, Jane Goodall? Correct. Secondly, over increasingly large areas of the United States, spring now comes unheralded by the return of the birds and the early mornings are strangely silent. Rachel Carson? Correct. And finally, conclusion, big helix in several chains, phosphates on outside. Um, it's, um, James Watson? James Watson? No, it's Rosalind Franklin. We're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see part of the melody of a well-known nursery rhyme in musical notation written in the key of C. Ten points if you can give me the usual five-word name of the nursery rhyme. St Peter's Hodgson. My Fair Lady. Uh, Emperor Deo. London Bridge is Falling Down. Correct. So you get the picture bonuses, Pembroke. They are more opening melodies for three well-known and somewhat macabre nursery rhymes. Again, all in the key of C. Five points for each song you can name. Firstly... Ring a ring of roses. Ring a ring of roses. Yeah, ring a ring of roses. No, that's oranges and lemons. Secondly... Hushabye Baby, what's that? Is, that, is that what it's called? Yeah. Hushabye Baby? Yes, it's usually known as Rockabye Baby, but that is another recognised title. And finally, this song thought to be French-Canadian in origin. I don't know, I know, I know. Oh, oh, oh Alouetta? Alouetta, indeed, all about dismembering a bird. Another starter question. A 1968 work by Bevis Hillier popularised which two-word term for an early 20th century movement in architecture and design, also called Jazz Age and Steel Modern? Pembroke Deo. Art Deco. 
Art Deco is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three bonuses, Pembroke, on the Kinks, the English rock band, that is. Firstly, the two-word title of which single by the Kinks may be expressed as the season of mists and mellow fruitfulness followed by an annual publication, for example, Wisdom? Autumn. Autumn. Annual? Oh, oh. Is that a song? Wisdom. Yeah. But it's not annual. Wisdom An is like a... Should I just say that? Yeah. Like, what was it? What was the second word? Like a, a wisdom, like a yearly thing. I, I'm just going to say yeah, it. Yeah, periodical. Uh, autumn oh, periodical? No, it's Autumn Almanac. Oh, I can't accept that, I'm afraid. Ancient history, anyway. <laughs> Which 1967 single by the Kinks mentions two people whose names recall those of leading actors in John Schlesinger's film adaptation of Julie. Far From the Madding Crowd? Does that sound right, Terry and Julie? Because there's a song called Waterloo. Waterloo Sunset? Indeed, yes, Terry and Julie. And finally, the one-word title of which single by the Kinks shares its final three letters with the names of two types of conic section. If it's parabola, then there's Lola. That's the song by the Kings. Okay, yeah. Is that a maths thing? Parabola and hyperbola, yeah. Lola? Lola is correct, yes. Right, ten points for this. In group 15 of the periodic table, what metalloid is the only chemical element whose English name begins with the letter A, but... Pembroke James! Aluminium. I'm afraid you lose five points, <laughs> but whose symbol does not. One of you buzz from St Peter's, quickly. St Peter's Hodgson. Antimony. Antimony is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on literary works that have formed the basis of operas by more than one composer. Give the shared title in each case. Firstly, operas by Paisiello and Rossini, adapted from the same French play of the 1770s. I designate Braddock. Mariage of Figaro. No, it's The Barber of Seville. Secondly, mm -hmm. operas by Puccini and Léon Cavallo, both written in, in the 1890s and based on a work by the French novelist Henri Mougère. Madame Butterfly? No, it's La Bohème. Finally, operas by Verdi and Ernest Bloch, after the same work by Shakespeare. <laughs> Othello. No, it's Macbeth. Ten points for this. In the titles of works by Norman Mailer, Jared Diamond and Bertrand Russell, what interrogative word links in Vietnam, is sex fun and I am not a Christian? St Peter's Cooper. Why? Why is correct. <laughs> These bonuses, St. Peter's, are on medieval princesses. Firstly, described as a wise counsellor and a peacemaker, Joan, the wife of Llewellyn the Great of Gwyneth, was an illegitimate daughter of which English king? Edward I? No, it was John. In 1221, Joan, the sister of Henry III, married which ruler who'd succeeded William the Lion as King of Scots in 1214? Uh, Alexander I. No, it's Alexander II. And finally, Joan of the Tower, the consort of David II of Scotland, was a daughter of which English king, the grandson of Henry III? Edward III? No, it's Edward II. Ten points for this. Which German composer died in February 1883? having spent the winter in Venice just over a year after the completion of his final opera, Parsifal. St Peter's Cooper. Wagner. Wagner is right. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses, St Peter's, on organic chemistry. Naphthalene and pyridine are examples of what general class of hydrocarbon named on account of the fragrant odours that some of them possess? Aromatic. Aromatic? Correct. Also known as methyl benzene, which aromatic compound has the formula C6H5CH3? It's widely used in the manufacture of industrial chemicals. Do you have an idea? A pass. 
It's toluene. And finally, the simplest aromatic hydrocarbon, benzene, is used in the manufacture of which polymer? It has the recycling code 6PS. Polystyrene. Polystyrene is correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music start, you'll hear the voice of a composer and conductor introducing a piece of classical music. Ten points if you can give me his name. My dear young friends, music has lots of different... St Peter's Hodgson. Uh, Leonard Bernstein. It is Leonard Bernstein, yes. <laughs> introducing the Carnival of the Animals. So 2018 marks the centenary of Leonard Bernstein's birth and your music bonuses are three more of his recordings, in each case conducting the work of another composer. Five points for each composer you can name. Firstly... Gershwin. It is Gershwin's An American in Paris. Secondly... We don't know, sorry. That's Charles Ives, the unanswered question. And finally... Mahler? It is Mahler, it's part of his fifth symphony, and Bernstein is said to have been buried with the score of that symphony over his heart. Right, another starter question. Part of the cobra family, the genus Dendroaspis, consists of venomous snakes with what five-letter common name? Pembroke James. Viper. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Species include Jamesons, East African Green and Black. St Peter's Cooper. Mamba. Mamba is correct. Your bonuses, St Peter's, are on European place names. In each case, give the city from the description. All three begin with the same two letters, ignoring accents and diacritical marks. Firstly, a small city in Tuscany, the birthplace of the composers Puccini and Boccherini and noted for its well-preserved city walls. Siena? No, it's Lucca. Secondly, a Hanseatic city southeast of Hamburg. It gives its name to the heath on which Montgomery received the German surrender in May 1945. Lubeck? No, it's Luneburg. And finally, a small city in the Ticino canton of Switzerland. In 1956, it hosted the first Eurovision Song Contest. Lugano. I uh, designate Braddock. Lugano? Lugano is correct. Another side question. In 1961, the US biochemist Melvin Calvin received the Nobel Prize for his discovery of the chemical pathways in what process? It's been described Peter's as... Peter's Cooper. Photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is correct, yes. <laughs> you get bonuses on the cranial nerves of the human body. Firstly... The Latin word for wandering is the origin of what name for the tenth cranial nerve? Vagus? V vagrant? Wandering? Yeah. Anything, anything better? Vagus? Vagus nerve? The vagus nerve? Correct. Acting on the superior oblique muscle of the eye, what name means pulley-like in Latin and is given to the fourth cranial nerve? Occipital. The occipital nerve? No, it's the trochlea. And referring to its division into three branches, what name is given to the fifth cranial nerve? Trigeminal. 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 It was, I think, what you were told. 
but uh, you didn't, that isn't what you said, unfortunately. No. Right, ten points for this. In industrial chemistry, what term is used for the process in which heat or catalysts are used to break down long-chain hydrocarbons into simple... Uh, no, Sorry, if you, if you buzz, you must answer. So you can have, you're going to have to lose five points, I'm afraid, because it was a technical interruption. Long-chain hydrocarbons into simpler molecules. Anyone want to buzz from St Peter's? St Peter's Cooper. Cracking? Cracking is correct, yes. <laughs> Three questions for you on waterways named after explorers, St Peter's. Linking the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, the Strait of Magellan lies almost entirely within the territorial waters of which country? Argentina. Argentina? No, it's Chile. Named after a Spanish mariner, the Torres Strait lies between Australia and which island nation? Papua New Guinea. Correct. Named after a Danish navigator, the Bering Strait separates which two countries? Russia and the United States. Correct. <laughs> Begin to take a picture around. Your picture starter, you'll see a photograph of an actress. Ten points if you could give me her name. St Peter's Williford. Lauren Bacall. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's Catherine Hepburn. It was Catherine Hepburn, yes. <laughs> right, she won four Academy Awards for Best Actress without ever attending an Oscar ceremony to receive them. Your picture bonuses are three more Oscar-winning no-shows. Five points for each one you can name. Firstly... Me. Joan Collins? <laughs> no, it's not Joan Collins, it's Joan, Joan Crawford. Crawford. I'm sorry, Joan Crawford. <laughs> As you can see, in 1946, she arranged a photo shoot in her bed after learning she'd won. Secondly... George C. Scott? It is George C. Scott. He called the Oscars a two-hour meat parade. <laughs> and finally, who's this? Elizabeth Taylor? It is Elizabeth Taylor. That was for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Right, ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. Using standard dictionary spellings, how many sets of double letters occur in the sentence, this bizarre committee is a perennial embarrassment? Hembrick Kiernan. Four. Anyone like to buzz from St Peter's? St Peter's Hodgson. Three. No, it's seven. Right, ten points for this. A little smaller than Scotland, the territory of the Navajo Nation is located partly in Utah and principally in ah. which... Pembroke Bamba. Arizona. I haven't finished reading the question. You've buzzed in two sets. And in, you're going to lose five points. In which two other US states? St Peter's Williford. Arizona and New Mexico. Correct. So your bonuses are on the novels of the Nobel laureate Kazuo Ishiguro. In each case, name the novel from a partial list of its characters. Firstly, Mr. Stevens, Miss Kenton and Lord Darlington. Remains of the day? Remains of the day? Correct. Secondly, Axel, Beatrice, Querig and Sir Gawain. And the Buried Giant. The Buried Giant? Correct. Finally, Kathy, Ruth, Tommy and Miss Lucy. Oh, never let me go. Never let me go. Correct. Ten points for this. Born in 1857, which US astronomer gives his name both to a small galaxy close to the Milky Way... Everett Kiernan. Hubble. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. ..and to a red dwarf star only six light years from the sun. I'll tell you, it's Edward Barnard. Ten points for this. In Norse mythology, which offspring of Loki was bound to a rock by the gods and bit off the arm of the sky god, Tyr. He takes the form of a monstrous wolf. Pembroke Kiernan. Fafnir. Anyone want to buzz from St Peter's? <laughs> St Peter's Hodgson. Is it Fenrir? It is Fenrir, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the England cricket captain, Heather Knight. Firstly, in 2011, Knight made her international test debut against Australia at the Bankstown Oval in which city? 
Yes. Brisbane. No, it's Sydney. Against which South Asian team did Knight score a 50 and take five wickets in a one-day international, becoming the first woman to do so? Pakistan. It was Pakistan. Knight became captain in 2016, following the retirement of which teammate who'd been playing for England since 1996? We don't know. So. Charlotte Edwards, there's two minutes to go and there's ten points for this. The wealthy Pollitt family, headed by Big Daddy, and including his son Brick and daughter-in-law Maggie, are characters in which Pulitzer Prize winning play by Tennessee Williams? Uh, Pembroke Bamba. The cat on the hot tin roof. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on biology now, Pembroke. Which organelles contain numerous acid optima hydrolases and digest material taken in by endocytosis? Lysosomes. Lysosomes. Nominate Kiernan. Lysosomes. Correct. Lysozyme is a bacteriolytic enzyme found in some body fluids. What polymer in the bacterial cell wall is hydrolyzed by this enzyme? Glycopeptin? Oh, no, is that the Come on. Glycopeptin. Uh, it's peptidoglycan, the other way around, so I can't accept that. When lysozyme N-acetyl hydrolyzes peptidoglycan, it produces muraminate and which other amino sugar? Nominate Bamba. Glycomate. No, it's N-acetyl glucosamine. Ten points for this. Consider the single word English names of the countries that share land borders with South Africa. When placed in alphabetical order, which one comes last? Pembroke Kiernan. Swaziland. Anyone want to buzz from St Peter's? St Peter's Willifet. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, of course, yes. <laughs> right, so you get a set of bonuses on poetry anthologies. What is the title of Penguin's best-selling 1967 anthology of the Liverpool poets... Adrian Henry, Roger McGough, and Brian Patton. Mersey Beat? Something like that? Mersey Beat? Mersey Beat. No, it's the Mersey Sound. Which poet and critic is now chiefly remembered for compiling and editing the 1861 anthology, A Golden Treasury of English Songs? <laughs> and that was gone. Pembroke College, Cambridge have 50, St Peter's College, Oxford have 225. Well, you started well, Pembroke, but uh, we haven't heard much from you for the last 10 minutes. Sadly, I wish we'd heard more, but uh, thank you very much for joining us. St Peter's 225, terrific performance. Look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the competition. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Pembroke College, Cambridge. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's goodbye from St Peter's College, Oxford. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>